Dominican opposition leader Lennox Linton has just told Republic TV, I am not involved in any protest action. I do not know of any protests around the people of Dominica asking for Choksi to be deported back to Antigua and not India. He says, my appeal is for an investigation. The opposition leader, the opposition leader in Dominica wants an investigation about the Dominican government's in role in an international scandal. Opposition leader wants Dominican government investigated. This is huge. This is huge. I've just got a response. I have just got a response on this, Andrea. I'm just reading out the response. Lennox Linton, uh, I was just trying to you know, speak to him to see if he, if he would give an interview to Republic TV. And he's just told me, he has just told me that he wants an investigation of the involvement of the government of Dominica in an international scandal in which it appears that an Indian-born criminally accused human being was abducted, tortured, ferried to Dominica against his will and handed over by his abductors to law enforcement authorities who are now prosecuting him for illegal entry into Dominica. The Antiguan cabinet is entitled to its opinion on whether Choksi should be sent back to India or Antigua. That is none of my business. The matters before the court, I have no comment. But the Dominican opposition is asking for an investigation into its own government. What's going on? What's going on, Andrea? How do you, what do you make of uh, the development? To be very honest with you, I don't find it surprising because the opposition leader generally calls for investigations into matters which he deems to be suspect. He has been a big advocate for transparency and freedom of speech and information in Dominica. Therefore, it's really no surprise he's calling for an investigation into this particular matter. As we've said before, the circumstances around Mr. Trotsky's, Trotsky's arrival here and even his current state are uh, circumstances that lead to concern among the media and, of course, the wider Dominican public. As Mr. Chokski's lawyer had said yesterday, he has bruises on his body and he does not feel safe in police custody here in Dominica and he is willing to pay for his own security detail while he's here. So that shows you that um, there is something going on that, as the opposition leader says, needs need to be investigated. And that's another thing, I guess, as regards the protest. They want a higher level of transparency as to what exactly is going on in this matter. It is one of great national and international interest because it involves a foreign national. Therefore, we will get foreign media involved and the, the level of interest we peaked here in Dominica as well because it involves Mr. Chokski. So the opposition leader, he would have a keen interest as well. He would call for an investigation into the matter. Even those who are protesting would say they smell something fishy. So it's really no surprise that the opposition leader has gone down this route to ask for an investigation into the matter. I think protesters are advocating for something similar, if not just a greater level of transparency and more information being shared on this particular topic.